Hello friends, welcome back to Mycology Exploration. I have an update on these modded LC lids. I discovered a problem really quickly and I wanted to share it with you. We have always used these smaller jelly jars for LCs because I would rather have multiple in case something were to go wrong to spread out the risk than just one or two big jars. So I've always used these jars. However, when we modified the lids, because they're wide mouth, you see these are not wide mouth, these are, the LC splashes up. And because of the modified lid, look, problem, problem. That's not what you want, that's a problem. It's because it splashed up onto the tape. Look at that, contamination. So why do I make so many LCs? Because in case there's contamination, I have more. However, we're having a problem with this tape, actually. This is the first time I've gotten this plastic breathable tape. Usually it's like a fabric. And they didn't have that. And I could only grab this plastic and we didn't think it was going to be a problem, but you can see in the pressure cooker, it shrank. The plastic tape shrank. And the paper tape that we've used, or the, the cotton tape, I guess is what it's called. It's a fabric. It's more of a fabric than this plastic. That's what we've used on our WBS jars and our fruiting lids and our tubs, the fruiting tops. And we really think that this plastic breathable tape is the problem. It was really sticky, it shrunk. So I put another piece of tape on it because that just did not work in the pressure cooker. But the other problem is it's because it's wide mouth, it splashes up. So it was coming through the holes and coming through the tape. So if we use a jar like this that isn't wide mouth, when we swirl it, it should stay, especially if I only fill it to like right here and don't go to the top. So because I'm swirling it, I mean, I, it's splashing up. And now we have contamination. So if you're going to mod your top for air exchange, do not use these wide mouth jars. Go with something like this to where it's not going to splash up. But then also don't fill it to the top. Don't fill it to the top so you can stir it around. So here's what I'm going to do. The husband pressure cooked these two large jars for me and some lids without air exchange. So I'm gonna move our LC. I know it's a little risky, but it's okay because I can't have this happening. <laughs> That's not good. So I'm gonna move them to the larger jar and I'm gonna do it inside. There we go, inside the still air box. I'm just gonna pour them in and I'm gonna put the regular tops on there and then we're gonna figure out a solution for this and go back and get the right kind of breathable tape. So don't pick up the plastic breathable tape. It's super sticky. It doesn't go through the pressure cooker correctly. You can even see here with the slurry. The first one shrunk. So get the cotton or the paper or whatever it is, not the plastic breathable tape. That's a problem when you put it through the pressure cooker. And it's super sticky to you. The other breathable tape that we've been using isn't so sticky. So again, the wide mouth lid is a problem with the modded top. And then also the larger jar so that there's more space between the LC and the top I think would help too. And again, the only reason why we modded the tops were because we discovered that mycelium really needed the air, the oxygen, and also this slurry recipe we were following calls for this, this modded top. And the longevity of the mycelium with this air exchange is recommended. So again, another experiment Another another thing that we've learned here and problem solving. And again, this is why I create so many. I mean, you can see in here, I have 12 agar dishes. 
So if half of them have a problem, I still have half to go from. I would rather create way too much so that if I have a problem, again, it's spreading out the risk. It's spreading out the risk. And then sol solving your problems. So I'm going to solve this problem. We're going to toss that. I've got three others, and I'm just going to pour them into these pressure cooked jars, and all is going to be well. All is going to be well. <laughs> and then we'll get back to you on these slurries as soon as it's grown all the way out to the side of the jar. Much love, friends. We'll see you in the next one.